question. Thank you. Please restate the recommendation you made to senior management. We recommend the rent to own plan based on the uh, Henderson family having the option to rent their home from the bank for $2,100 a month. 76% of that will go towards repaying the mortgage they were initially in. The other 24% uh, would be profit stream for the bank. And then the Henderson family would be able to re-enter into their original mortgage at any point in the next 51 years, should they choose to just rent after 51 years, they would own their home again. Other than the Henderson family and our bank, who is negatively affected by the Henderson mortgage should it go into default? Were we to renegotiate our loan, we see it as actually beneficial for our, our shareholders in the bank because uh, such a, a plan would result in a greater net profit in the end for our bank. So the larger net profit gets put back into the dividends which we pay our stockholders and our investors. That's not an option we would want to pursue because we would see it as being detrimental in other situations uh, or for other personnel involved. But to answer the question directly as for the stockholders and shareholders, we don't believe that that would be uh, detrimental. The law favors the Henderson family. Does this mean that if they walk away, they're acting ethically? Although it would be legal for the Henderson family um, to walk away under the Arizona Anti-Deficiency Law, we believe that it would be unethical if they did walk away from their home because they have a, a, an obligation um, to fulfill their contract. Their side of the bargain says that they need to pay $3,000 per month towards their mortgage. If they were unable to do this and did walk away, we as a bank see that it would be ethical on their part, but obviously that's why we're willing to um, negotiate a different option. Do you think the bank should lobby the Arizona legislature to change the non-recourse law so homeowners are compelled to pay any deficit in the event of default? We believe that the bank absolutely should allow me to have that law removed. It is a detriment to the banking community to have a law like this. Uh, we see it as definitely beneficial to clients who are put in a position such as the Henderson family, and it's, it's a viable legal option for them, but it's, it's terrible for the bank. However, should such a law be removed by the Arizona legislature, it doesn't mean we as a bank would want to use that to stiff arm our clients and refuse to negotiate with them. We see the best course of action would be to, to lobby the legislature for the removal or alteration of that law, but then to still work in a, with a compromising mindset that should 
our uh, client be unable to pay, it's better for the bank to, still to negotiate with them than to just foreclose them. Is it unfair to hold the Henderson family to personal norms and promise keeping, while some businesses use strategic default on their own debts as a financial and legal option? Although it's tough to judge fairness, um, we would argue that it's not, it, it isn't fair. Um, you know, the fact that businesses are able to get away with strategic defaulting, whereas the Henderson family would um, essentially lose all their payments to date if they were to walk away um, from the payments on their home. However, we still do believe that they have a strong obligation to fulfill their contract on the mortgage that they did agree to sign. Although unforeseen circumstances did come into play, we believe that's where the bank comes in. Um, because, you know, the, Mr. Henderson did have to receive a large um, decrease in his in, um, net income. You know, that's where we believe the bank comes in ethically and has an obligation to help their, help their client. Um, but once again, answering your question, we believe it's unfair that they're held to different standards um, and that businesses are able to get a strategic call. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you all very much. the gauntlet myself. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> oh, thank thank you. you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Sure. Okay, good. <laughs> you did all right. You did good. Okay. Um, the only thing, I must, we must have one of the questions. Um, Which one? It was something we had talked about before. Yeah. And then as I